Did you know that our stingrays overwinter in Florida every year? My name is Ruth, and I'm an interpreter here at the zoo. Come along with me, and let's see how they're doing since they've come home to the St. Louis Zoo. It looks like we have all the same species as we did last year. Yes, there are cow nose stingrays, of course. Those would be all the kite-shaped rays. And I see some southern stingrays laying on the bottom. The cow nose rays are what we call pelagic. They swim together up in the upper levels of the ocean. The southern stingrays are benthic. They hug the bottom of the ocean floor. They like to bury themselves in the sand and stay hidden. They are generally bigger than the cow nose stingrays. And look, there's a bonnet head shark. Those sharks are related to hammerhead sharks. You can tell by their shape. Bonnet head sharks are hard to spot. Like most sharks, they have to keep moving to keep water flowing over their gills. And I think I see some bamboo sharks lying over there in the shark hides. Bamboo sharks have spiracles, just like the stingrays, so they can be motionless and still be bringing water over their gills to breathe. I bet everyone will be excited to see Rusty. And look at that big southern stingray. That looks like Georgia. She was here in St. Louis a couple years ago. My, she's gotten even bigger. Last year we had some pretty small southerns. That one there looks like Katie from last year. She's almost as big as a hula hoop. I remember last year when she was only the size of a dinner plate. Stingrays eat a lot of shellfish in the wild. They have flat, crushing teeth to break into the shells of the animals they eat. They also lose their teeth, like sharks, and are constantly replacing them. Sometimes we find them on the bottom of the pool. They look like this. Here at the zoo, we feed a variety of food that includes capelin, mackerel, and squid. Sometimes the keepers give special food for enrichment, like clams, so the stingrays can practice crushing up the shells. The keepers work very hard to make sure the rays have a good, healthy environment. The pool is about 17,000 gallons, and the entire thing goes through a series of filters about three times an hour. They have lots of monitors that sound if anything goes out of the healthy parameters that the rays need, like the water temperature and the oxygen content. There are some great ways that you can help keep wild stingrays and sharks safe and healthy. Use a reusable water bottle and take your own reusable bag to the store with you. Thanks for visiting with us today here at Caribbean Cove. We hope you enjoyed learning about our stingrays and sharks and can't wait to see you again soon.